The 2017 NEC required that all metal parts of floating buildings in contact with the water, all metal piping, and all non-current carrying metal parts that are likely to become energized be connected to the panel board's grounding bus. The 2020 NEC kept these same requirements, moving them from 553.11 to 555.13, but the 2020 NEC adds that the connection to the grounding bus in the panel board must be made using insulated, covered, or bare solid copper conductors at least 8 gauge in thickness. It's hard to imagine any harsher environments for electrical equipment than those covered in Article 555, marinas, boatyards, and commercial and non-commercial docking facilities. It brings together a mixture of harsh factors that include water, weather, wind, extreme temperature changes, rough usage, and continual movement at the base of the equipment. The chances of equipment failure or frequent groundfall conditions can be unusually high. Most electricians are familiar with the need for equipotential bonding grids in and around pool areas. Marinas and boatyards have similar bonding requirements to those of pools, but they are not the same. The qualifier for bonding in marinas and boatyards is, quote, all non-current carrying metal parts that are likely to become energized, end quote. All metallic parts that have the potential to become energized must be bonded. Marinas, boatyards, floating buildings, commercial and non-commercial docking facilities are required to use either a solid copper conductor insulated, covered, or bare, not smaller than number 8 gauge. To summarize, Article 555.13 specifically requires the use of a conductor connected to the grounding bus of the panel board for bonding any non-current carrying metal parts. This article adds the clarity needed for marinas and boatyards and also provides consistency for similar conditions. As always, the deciding factor as to whether a part should be bonded under the conditions of, quote, likely to become energized, end quote, is ultimately decided by the authority having jurisdiction.